So, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, kick things off here. Um, I don't know how many of you, how many of you have been to Happy Valley before? Raise your hands. All right. Well, appreciate you first timers and appreciate you long timers and old timers. Um, but uh, about every year, I think they've had this um, program. Uh, Bobby McMillan would come out and go up at the graveside either on Friday or Saturday night. He'd sit up there and he'd tell stories about uh, Tom Dooley and Laura Foster and Ann Foster and the love triangle um, that happened here in between Wilkes and uh, Caldwell County. Um, and that uh, uh, was a real treat um, to go in here every year. Well, um, this last year in November, we lost Bobby, um, and he was a great treasure and a real uh, light in the world of traditional music and just a, a, a wonderful man. I can't say enough good things about him. We actually uh, have one of his hats here um, to put out as a little bit of, to honor Bobby. Um, and so we're going to just uh, hold forth tonight, and we're going to share some songs before we kick off the the open mics to honor Bobby and all the work that, that he did to collect traditional music and to sing and share stories and songs. Um, and we're, we're happy to, to, as he always uh, hoped that people would do, he said uh, the most important thing is just to keep it going. So we're going to try to do that tonight. Um, and uh, I don't, we're not real rehearsed up here, but we, we have our little, little period that we're going to go through and um, just Whenever uh, it's your turn to get up and sing a song, just stand up and choose one of these beautiful microphones. Um, and you can, yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> you, can, uh, you can share a song. So I believe that we will start with Sheila. Um, Sheila, just uh, pick you a mic, any mic, um, and, and go ahead and hold forth. Thank I'll you. Just hold forth right here. Well, I'm Sheila K. Adams. I had the honor of being. Uh, or at least Bobby McMillan was my best friend for almost 50 years. So I'm going to start out with one, or I'm probably just going to sing one that uh, I learned from Bobby. And uh, it's, he, he took to calling it the witch wife's pig. But I had always heard it called the wild boar. So that's, uh, you can take your pick of titles. I kind of like Bobby's better than just the wild boar. That doesn't sound near dire enough you know all of these old love songs are about death dying losing people that you love and all this sort of thing so it fits right in with everyday experiences so here's bobby's uh witch wife's pig bingham bailey had three sons fall a day fall a day fall a ring stomadario Bingham Bailey had three sons. Willie was the youngest one. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. And Willie would a hunting ride. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. And Willie would a hunting ride with a sword and a pistol by his side. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. One day up on the greenwood side, fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. One day up on the greenwood side, up in a tree a lady spied. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. What are you doing up in that tree? Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. What are you doing up in that tree? I see you there, my gay lady. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. There are bees a wild boar in these woods. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. There are bees a wild boar in these woods. He's killed my lord and he's drunk his blood. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. And how might I this wild boar see? Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. And how might I this wild boar see? Just blow thy horn, he'll come to thee. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. 
He popped his bugle to his mouth. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a rain stomadario. He popped his bugle to his mouth and he blowed it long both north and south. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a rain stomadario. Over Yanner he comes through the brush. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a rain stomadario. Over Yanner he comes through the brush. He's cutting his way through the oak and dash. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a rain stomadario. They fit the fight up in the day. Fall a day. Fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. They fit the fight up in the day. In the end, the boar he slayed. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. They rode down by the wild boar's den. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. They rode down by the wild boar's den, saw the bones of a thousand men. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. They met the witch wife on the bridge. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. They met the witch wife on the bridge. Be gone, you rogue, you've killed my pig. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. These three things I crave of thee. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. It's these three things I crave of thee. Thy hawk, thy hound, thy gay lady. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. It's these three things you can't have from me. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. It's these three things you can't have from me. My hawk, my hound, my gay lady. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. Into his locks the witch wife flew. Fall a day. Fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. Into his locks the witch wife flew. You damned old rogue, I will kill you. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. He split the witch wife to the chin. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. He split the witch wife to the chin, then it's up behind and away again. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. There's a piece of cornbread laying on the shelf. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. There's a piece of cornbread laying on the shelf. If you want more song, you'll have to sing her yourself. Fall a day, fall a day, fall a ring stomadario. Check, check. All right. Thank you, Sheila. I really appreciate that. Um, I didn't really give you much of an introduction. Um, but Sheila is uh, a National Heritage Award winner. Um, and a, a great author. Uh, look up her books. We're really, really uh, grateful for her to be here. Is this the first year you've been out to Happy Valley? First year. Is it going to be the last? No. Okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah, we look forward to having you next next year, um, Sheila. But um, I think, well, uh, Marina, are you going to go next with Doug? All right. Uh, well, um, I'll, I'll let you introduce yourself, but uh, I have long, long loved to hear uh, Marina Sing. I hope you're going to do the song I think you're going to do. But anyways, even if you're not, it'll be great. What is it? <laughs> oh, that. Um... I'm going to do the one about Laura Foster. Oh, oh, yeah, we'll do that okay, one. I love that song, too. <laughs> Laura Foster. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Sheila sung you the short version of that ballad. <laughs> when her and Bobby and I would go somewhere together, it would be just me sitting there, pins and needles, thinking, Lord, they're going to start talking about 
somebody's boy or somebody from the mountains or mom all this or pop all that and they get talking and I think we're not going to get anything in this program nobody's even going to hear us sing because they're going to talk the whole time so I'd sit over there and make little motions at Bobby and of course he didn't pay me no attention but uh, we're going to try to sing us and another thing I was going to sing a song that my daddy wrote but when I met Bobby we started talking and we both as with everybody Bobby becomes fast friends with whoever he talked to so we just talked and talked and Pretty soon I got to finding out stuff he liked, and I thought, well, dang, is that my brother? He's everything he likes, my daddy liked. And so when my father passed away, we were going through a bunch of old books and stuff, and every one we pick up, Bobby would say, I've got that book. I've got that record. I've got that book. And somehow it just seemed like, you know, I'd known him my whole life, and I really hadn't, but by now I have. We were good friends for almost as long as Sheila and him, but not quite. So this is my husband, Doug, and he's going to play the backup for me, hopefully. Yeah, by the time they get talking, you'll need a haircut.
Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, um, Doug Marina. I really appreciate that. Uh, I, I do want to take a moment to say um, that I've always loved Doug's um, guitar playing, but he also just makes beautiful, beautiful guitars. Uh, Bobby had, had one that had a wild hog uh, up there. Uh, that was really special. But thank you so much for, for sharing that. Um, I do want to make a, a quick, quick um, announcement. And I forgot what it was. So what we're going to do next, uh, uh, Lori, you wanted to, to get on over here and sing? Uh, Lori is, um, was uh, Bobby's niece, and um, uh, Bobby taught her a, a bunch, of, bunch of songs, and I hope she's had the opportunity to learn some more, too. I'm actually going to do an original song. Oh, 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 well, this is very <laughs> exciting. Um, so um, I'll let Lori uh, hold forth. Um, I think she uh, was hoping to come play with, with Zach, her, her partner, but, but uh, I think he's got a gig somewhere. Yeah. yeah, all right. So, all right, well, cut loose. All righty. So when you live with ballad singers and people that play this kind of music, you can't write happy songs. I have learned that. The only thing I can write is sad and depressing songs. So you're going to hear a sad and depressing song, and it's actually about Laura Foster, and it is her perspective if she were to flip the script and she were the one to kill Tom Dooley. Uh oh <clears throat> That was just good. Pull my words up, because this is a new song. <laughs> there is a place among the tall, tall pines where the whippoorwill sings and the wind it winds. <clears throat> Sorry, we have not practiced this song. I... There in that place where my love he lies in the ground for all time he thought he could chain my soul take my body and leave my heart cold he thought he knew me oh so well guess I'll of hell and the mountains cry a mournful song of young love gone all wrong and the ground it quakes as the rocks cry out his blood runs deep in the cold hard ground I fell for him a homesick child our love it grew so free and wild but he grew fond of another's hand and she won't have any other man I freed us both of his rambling ways with a silver dagger he's gone away to lead young hearts astray his bones they sink in the cold red clay and the mountains cry a mournful song of young love gone all wrong and the ground it quakes as the rocks cry out his blood runs deep There'll come a time when I must go Meet my maker and tell him so I pray he will forgive my deeds But I won't rest in peace And the mountains cry a mournful song Cold hard ground. His 
blood runs deep in the cold hard ground. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate since coming out here. Um, sharing these songs. Um, now I do remember what that announcement was. So this is really important to me, and uh, Bobby had a really good sense of humor, um, and was a great, great storyteller, and, and was easy to make laugh, and I always appreciated uh, that about him. Uh, but we have something going on. This will be the second year we've done it, even though we haven't done it in two years. Um, but in 2019, we had our first annual joke contest. Now, what the joke contest is, is uh, this little uh, contest, and you don't have to pay to get it in. It's not like the, the Saturday contest, and there's also no money to win. But there are little awards. They look really nice. I worked really hard on them. Um, but uh, so the idea is this. You can win two awards, um, or two people could win two awards, that there is a, an award for the best joke, and there is an award for the worst joke. You could win both awards with one joke. Hasn't happened yet. We hope someday that it will. Um, but essentially, uh, during our open mic program, we're going to have a little uh, kind of off to the, to the side uh, between our acts, our open mic acts. We are going to have our joke contestants, and we'll do about three at a time. And this uh, joke list is, let's see how long it is. Currently, it's three people long. So uh, I really would appreciate it if during the open mic, that'll start at about 8, uh, 15, I'd say, um, when we get that going. If anyone wants, comes over and they're like, man, I got a good joke, or man, I got a bad joke, um, if they'll come over to me, I'd love to sign them up for the joke contest. Um, yeah, Willard, yeah, come find me. Come find me, man. Anybody else? Find the guy with the big hat um, and uh, with the staff thing. And, and I will sign you right up for our joke contest. Uh, we really hope to uh, have, have some, some good and bad ones. A great chance of winning so far. Yeah, so far you have really high odds. So help us distribute those odds a little more evenly. Um, but we do also do have the open mic sign up. Um, so if someone wants to sign up for that, we still have a few more slots. You can come see me. Um, uh, I'll be hosting the open mic, and I really don't want it to be the William Ritter Show. So please, come uh, sign up if you would. All right, so next on the docket here, uh, Doug, are you going to sing one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing that's going to be Rodney. Rodney, are you going to get up and hold forth? All right. Uh, please welcome Rodney Sutton. He was a great friend of... Great friend of Bobby McMillan's, um, and uh, this is a song. This is a song you learned from Bobby, right? Or yep. is, ish? Ish? Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, um, yes. So, check, check, check. Uh, yeah, go ahead and hold forth. Uh, Rodney is a great dancer and entertainer and storyteller. We've had him about every year at Happy Valley. Maybe every year at Happy Valley. I missed the first few. You missed the first few. Well, I've missed the first all of them. But, um, <laughs> but anyways, we really appreciate you being here, Rodney. Thank you, Willem. <laughs> Young Willem. Yeah, I got to be um, really, really good friends with Bobby. <clears throat> and um, first time I ever saw him and the crowd from Sodom Laurel um, was at the Bicentennial Folk Festival in 1976 at the Eno River Festival um, in near Durham. And, um, and I, you know, just was in this great big huge gum of people that were uh, is celebrating and staying up late and stuff. And um, then a bunch of time went by, and I didn't see Bobby again until much, much later, probably 20 years later, that I would remember seeing him. And that was at the Swannanoa Gathering. And he was there visiting Sheila's class on ballad singing. And this is a song that he sang um, that day um, in the old master's session, even though he wasn't very old at the time. But um, Bobby... Um, sang this song, and he called it The Brave Lieutenant. Now, it's also known by a lot of other names. Um, it's, also, it's sometimes known as the, um, the, the Carlisle Lady. It's also called The Fan, and it's also called The um, Carolina or Carolina Lady. But it's a really, really old song, and it's got a lot of different versions. And uh, this is similar to... It's hard to figure out. Even Bobby wouldn't sing these songs exactly the same every time. So um, this is a, a testament that Bobby um, was willing to put up with a dancer that would come over and record him and was interested in learning some of his songs. It goes like this. 
In Carolina lived a lady. She was so beautiful and gay. And she determined to live a lady. And no man would she betray. Then she met two loving brothers. They came to her from afar. And upon these loving brothers, this lady cast her heart's desire. One of them was a brave lieutenant, a brave lieutenant, a man of war. The other was a bold sea captain, belonged to a ship called Colonel Carr. Then up spoke this handsome lady, saying, I cannot be but one man's bride. Meet me here tomorrow morning, and upon this case we will decide. Next morn she called for her coach and horses, and they were ready at her command. And together these three did wander until they came to the lion's den. And there they stopped, and there they halted. These two brothers stood musing round, for in the space of half an hour, she lay sleep speechless on the ground. Then at length she did recover, and she threw her fan in the lion's den, saying, which of you to win a lady will return to me my fan. Then up spoke the bold sea captain with a voice that was so high above, said, Madam, I'm a man of honor, but I will not give my life for love. Then up spoke the brave lieutenant with a voice that was so clear and high, said, Madam, I'm a man of honor. I will return your fan or die. Then into the lion's den he ventured where the lions were so grim and he whooped and raged among them until at last he returned her fan. And when she saw her love you're coming and unto him no harm been done, she threw herself upon his bosom saying, here's the prize that you have won. Then up spoke the brave lieutenant said, I will not have you for my wife, for I can tell by your actions that you care nothing for my life. Brave Lieutenant. Check, check. Okay, there it is. All right. Uh, well, thank you, Rodney. Appreciate that. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you always wear pants. That way they can't tell. Um, <laughs> um, so uh, I, I, I do want to just say a few little housekeeping things here. Um, again, uh, do check out the information tent over there where we are doing a silent auction and also a raffle for two really fine banjers. Um, but uh, also, and again, if you, if you have other information you're in need of, that is a good place to find it out. Or if you want information on a t-shirt, we got new t-shirt designs this year. Um, and those are really nice. Uh, one thing I think is just really interesting to me. Um, so uh, Lori uh, has uh, two beautiful new babies over there. Am I right that you, they were born on the same day as Sheila? Yes. Oh, wow. That's same date. Same 
Yeah, same. What's, how is that different from day? Oh, well, I guess that's true. Like, same day of the week. Okay, so, so, so anyway, the same date in March, right? In March. That is really, really interesting to me. Right, so yeah, the very first time, I guess you... Oh, man. All right, We yes, I, I hope that they have many uh, ballad sings in front of them. These singing, ballad singing traditions are extremely, extremely old. Um, some of the oldest music traditions that we have, um, and it's very rare to actually get to go anywhere and, and see them, or, or, well, see them. In a way, you do see them. I think with these old songs, it's important to remember, I mean, they go verse after verse. Uh, what you really should do is listen to these songs and close your eyes, and if you do that, you can see them play in your mind like a movie. Um, and so I think it's a, a really important thing that we get an opportunity to hear these old songs. So again, I really appreciate you all for coming out and uh, singing. I think we have enough time for maybe uh, a couple more. Um, so I might, I might do one. Um, oh, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Which one? Jimmy Ooh, oh, 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 okay. Um, yeah, uh, Doug, you don't have a flat pick on you, do you? Do you? Okay. Yeah. Now, you know this is one of them $80 picks, don't you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, this is an eighty-dollar guitar, so that uh, that's that works out. That works out really good. And so, you want me to move this a little closer, or oh, well, let's let the professional do it. Um, so this is a song that I learned from Bobby McMillan. It's a real treat for me to sing it out here because Bobby learned this song from a woman that lived over in Kings Creek, which is not far from here. Bobby was from Kings Creek. Um, there was a woman named Aunt Lou Brookshire, and uh, she was not Bobby's aunt, but that is a term of uh, uh, endearment and respect to call somebody um, that you thought highly of, your, your aunt or your uncle. Um, and so this was Aunt Lou Brookshire. Um, and she sang a lot of beautiful songs. Aunt Lou, um, actually, her and her husband cut hair uh, in, in, like, labor camps, basically, um, work camps over in California, and I think in uh, Oregon, maybe some, in Washington State. They went all over. So I don't know if she learned that song. Uh, she eventually moved back here to where she was from and, and uh, eventually died and buried here. But So I don't know if she learned one of these songs on one of her many travels out, out west uh, with them cutting hair or if this was one that she learned uh, here. Um, but it's a beautiful old, old song that, that Bobby taught me. <clears throat> and it's a little bit on the long side. So close your eyes and uh, imagine um, that there's uh, this boy who uh, takes his girlfriend out in the woods and then he gets real, real bad sick. Uh, and he comes home. And uh, his mother takes one look at him and says, are you poisoned? <laughs> and uh, once she figures out he's dying, she says, well, what are you going to leave me? And where are you going to leave your brother? And are you? So that's, that's, that's basically the synopsis. Oh, where are you? <clears throat> oh, where? I'm going to do this in D. You can tell that uh, I'm a professional here. Trying to make a, a careen of this, as they say. Yeah, careening around. Not a career. Oh, where you been rambling? Jimmy Ransom, my son. Oh, where you been rambling? My handsome young dumb. Make my bed down For I'm weary with honey And I want to lie down Who did you meet there? Jimmy Ransom, my son Oh, whom did you meet there? And I want him to lie down. What you have for your 
supper Jimmy Ransom, my son What'd you have for your supper My handsome young done Seals fried and brew Mother, let's make my bed down For I'm weary with honey And I want to lie down I fear your poison Jimmy Ransom, my son I fear your poison My handsome young dove Yes, I am poison, mother Let's make my bed down For I'm sick at the heart And I fain would lie down What'd you do with your leavings, Jimmy Ransom, my son? What'd you do with your leavings, my handsome young dun? Fed them to my greyhound's mother to make my bed down. For I'm weary with honey. What became of your bloodhounds, Jimmy Ransom, my son? What became of your bloodhounds, my handsome young dog? They swelled and they died, mother, let's make my bed down from weary with honey. What'd you leave to your sister, Jimmy Ransom, my son? What'd you leave to your sister, my handsome young dun? Silver and gold, mother, let's make my bed down. For I'm weary with honey. you leave to your father Jimmy Ransom my son what'd you leave to your father my handsome young dun Fox and my hounds mother let's make my bed down for I'm weary with honey and I want to lie down What'd you leave to your mother, Jimmy Ransom, my son? What'd you leave to your mother, my handsome young dun? My houses and lands, mother, let's make my bed down from weary with honey. What'd you leave to your sweetheart, my handsome young dun? It's hellfire and brimstone, mother, to bake her bones brown. For she is the reason that I'm lying down. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Thank you. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Alec. Appreciate that. Um, uh, yeah, so I think we have time for a, a few more, um, and we'll keep going until we get to about 8 o'clock. But, uh, Sheila, you want to sing us another one?
Well, I did a big long one a while ago, so I'm going to do a little short one this time. Wherever your mind goes in this, and William's back there saying, oh, gosh. But wherever your mind goes on this one is your problem and not my problem. I, I promise. You think I'd be all right? Oh, yeah, that's tame. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is tame to some of the ones that I know. Uh, but this one is one that's called There Was an Old Farmer. There was an old farmer who lived by the sea, and a merry old farmer was he, was he. He had a fair maiden who laid on the grass, and every time she turned over you'd see her fair ruffles and tuffles as slick as a duck. She taught that old farmer a new way to bring up the children and teach them to knit. While the servants in the barnyard were shoveling out contents of the barnyard as slick as glass. If you don't like my story, you can go kiss my daughter in the parlor. Wind up the clock with a piece of red ribbon tied all around her. Poodle dog, her poodle dog, her poodle dog galore. If you don't like my story, I'll tell it no more. <laughs> Well, we got a little time here. Um, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Marina, you don't think you could do that uh, one about the, well, this is going to describe every single ballad. Um, you know, the poor girl that, uh, well, she gets pregnant, and then, yeah. Do you have that one? This song to me was like the gateway drug to ballads. Um, I just, yeah. That's in uh, what key? I had no idea. We didn't practice that one. Well, you start in one key, and then if you don't like that one, That's just start we'll in do. a different one. Or you... But move down to this one. I've already got <laughs> A minor, maybe. My father, he was a rich old jade. No, that's not A minor. It's not a minor. I make up keys too, so he's the musician in the family, not me. I got one of them bugs that aim for your eyeball, right in the center of your eyeball. And I saw him coming. And, uh, <laughs> there's nothing I could do by the time I got this hand up and, and worrying about my pick that William was using over here. <laughs> and, and by the way, I'm going to keep this pick forever. That is beautiful. Oh, that was, <laughs> well, I got worried about it too when I realized I still had it. I didn't want to get that $80 <laughs> pick right back. Uh, well, I'll trade you the pick for the song. Oh, hey, but I can't hey. do the performance. The performance, there, there's no way. <laughs> well, uh, there's, okay. Speaking of bugs, we do want to thank the Mosquito Authority uh, for coming out and uh, reducing the mosquito load out here. Right. Thank you. Do what? You're supposed to be humming this song and finding the key while me and William are just, uh, you know, <laughs> covering up the... My father, he was a rich old jay. My mother, she was a lady fair. And me, a brought me to despair it's when I wore my long silk gown my love followed me from town to town but now my apron just won't tie he passes my door but he won't pass by
through the green meadow all around I thought I heard a doleful sound I wish I Thank you for saying that. Uh, I don't regret putting you on the spot one single, single bit. That, mm. uh, <laughs> huh? I need a tissue is what I need. Oh, gosh. Well, um, folks, we, we still got uh, a little bit of time here. So, um, Lori, you want to sing another one? Right. called Bright Morning Stars. It was made kind of famous by the Wailing Jennies. And Bobby actually had all these books, and I lived with him for a little while, and I would go through these books. And Now I would, William has all these books. Yeah, now William all has all these books. But I would find these songs that I loved already, and he would just tell me, like, you're not singing it right. <laughs> you're not singing it right. So this is, like, my version of combining the way I learned it through listening to the Wailing Jennies and what he taught me. So here it goes. It's called Bright Morning Stars. Bright morning stars are rising. Bright morning stars are rising. Bright Days are breaking, oh my soul. Oh, where are our dear sisters? Oh, where are our dear sisters? They're on the mountain singing. Day breaking oh my soul oh where are our dear brothers oh where are our dear brothers they're on the mountain of fighting days breaking oh my soul, oh, where are our dear 
mothers. Oh, where are our dear mothers? They're on the mountain praying. Days breaking. Oh, my soul. Oh, where are our dear fathers? Oh, where are our dear fathers? They're up in heaven fighting. Days are breaking. Oh, my soul. Days are breaking, oh my soul. Thank you so much, Lori. Uh, appreciate, really appreciate you coming out and, and singing. Um, that's going to wrap up our Bobby McMillan. That was a good place place to end it. That's going to wrap up our uh, Bobby McMillan program. Um, if you'd like to know a little bit more about Bobby McMillan, you can look him up on Google, uh, and it'll come up with, with some various, various things. Um, but one thing that might come up is uh, my website, which is songtoseed.com, um, and this is not a personal placement for me, but uh, if you go on there, you can find a lot of uh, Bobby's recordings and things that we've, some of it that we've digitized, just the start of the project, but um, uh, thanks to the uh, generosity of uh, Joyce McMillan, who was here somewhere. Uh, there she is. Um, that was Bobby's wife, and, and she was very generous to... Um, to uh, have uh, his books uh, come to me um, and his recordings too. And, and uh, from there, we did a lot of thinking and the steam came out of our ears from thinking so hard. And uh, we finally decided that a good place for Bobby's um, recordings, which we recorded many people a lot in this area here, um, including Wade Gilbert, who was a fascinating banjo and fiddle player that lived like really not far down the road, um, down, down this way. Um, that we would send them to Mars Hill College, and we've been working on that project for the, the past year. It's, it's been quite a lot of work going down there and uh, organizing Bobby's stuff. Love Bobby to death. Organization was not his strong suit. Um, uh, and he had a lot of stops and starts with, with great projects and stuff, so us getting that all together for posterity, for people to go to Mars Hill College and learn from Bobby's incredible collection. He just had the best versions of songs, always had the best lyrics, always had the most lyrics, um, always had the best tunes. Um, and so that's a great treasure that we need to make sure to keep going, uh, like you said, to, to keep it going. So we're going to turn over here, and again, I want to uh, uh, introduce and, and thank people. This is Sheila K. Adams and uh, Marina Trivet and uh, Lori... Uh, Trivet, Trivet, okay, yeah, Lori Trivet, um, and Doug Trivet, and Rodney Sutton, and I'm William Ritter, and uh, thank you again, thank you Bobby McMillan, um, for all that you've, you've shared with us, and uh, we're going to turn her over here, so give us just a minute, we're going to uh, start up here at 8.15, um, so thank you very much, and uh, just see me, if you got a good joke, if you got a bad joke, if you got a mediocre joke, we need jokesters. Step forward and the gents fall back. Well, my old man's in Kalamazoo. He don't know where, no, yes, I do. First to the left and then to the right. This old mill grinds day and night. Same old man living at the mill. The mill turns around on its own. 